Hello beautiful Aquarius and friends. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna and this is Irish Donna Tarot. So I hope everyone's doing well today and I am broadcasting from Chicago and I would love it if you leave in the comments section below where you're watching the video from around the globe. So let's look at the overall energy of this very exciting reading. Aquarius, Divine Matrix. You're trying to figure out, or your person's trying to figure out what the future holds. You're in a time machine, so you look like you're in the midst of a major change in your relationship. A change that's going to bring something very exciting into your lives. And I get divine, I'm getting higher perspective, a higher view. They're seeing this as a time in your lives and in your relationship where spirit is very much guiding it. Right now, it looks like your person is missing you. They feel sad and lonely without you. Um, and we also see, again, I feel like your person's missing you. You might be physically in different locations at this time. When I look at the overall energy, I think that that's very likely the case. And the energy of the uh, spirit messages are backing that up because it does look like you're in a time of um, movement between two spaces almost. Your person really loves this ring. It looks like there could be an offer coming in from your person. They're very much focused on that. Aquarius, in terms of your person's thoughts about you, very romantic Pisces energy. They just love you. I mean, they want to give you a love note, a bouquet of roses. They want romance. They want to feed you a nice picnic. Maybe you are married or dating somebody who is a chef. But this person is, when we look at the Knight of Cups, this is really a person who's leveled up. They've matured a lot within the framework of your relationship. They want to throw caution to the winds for a victory in love. They feel they're letting, they're holding on to you. They're possessive of you. They're probably a little jealous of you. That energy is, oh no, she belongs to me. Clear the trail, guys or gals. This is my person. They are very much in the energy of being very dedicated, but also they're not letting anybody stand in the way. If somebody were to try to come along, they they would uh, be take action very quickly. Devil energy can be toxic, but it also is possessiveness. It's also your person being concerned and being very much invested in where you're going to live. And the energy that I'm getting is that there may be, like I said, I think you're in a transitional period in which you may not technically to be together, but you're very much in love with each other. Your person, a ring here and marriage energy there, that is twin flame energy. Your person wants to live with you. I don't think that the devil is in the details is actually what comes to mind with the devil energy, clarifying where you're going to live, how you're going to proceed forward. When when we look at the four of wands it is twin flame 11 11 um 11 11 this is typically the bridal tenth this is typically the bridesmaids but it speaks to the fact that you're building a foundation your person is obsessed and dedicated and basically hell-bent on building a foundation with you in their heart space well there you go gemini energy they feel as though you guys are constantly in comment on in contact. You're constantly sending comments back and forth, even when you're at work, even when you're busy. You know, both of you have the patience to uh, have a lot of contact with not much in the way of response during the day. You, but you person feels so lucky. They feel in their heart space that when they found you, it was by chance. It looks like they were dating a lot of other people. They don't want to date anybody. Boy, oh boy, this person's very attractive, and all they're focused on is you. They miss you. They feel lonely. They can't wait to say, you know, when are we going to pick out the paint colors for the bedroom? Um, but they're very much in a holding pattern with you in their heart space because it looks like there's a lot of activity in your relationship. Five of Wands is usually struggles. It can be disagreements. It can be ego-driven energy. Uh, it shows that your person is highly desirable to other people. 
uh, they feel as though you are highly desirable to other people and they sort of can't wait to get at you. So when we look at the energy of their, what their intentions are, they absolutely intend to say, honey, I'm home, which resonates with your home. We see this uh, beautiful Scorpio energy. It's a rebirth in love after you've been in different places. Again, I feel very much that because this person misses you so much and they're looking over here, they're looking, they're dissatisfied without having you. You know, they are looking for that chance to say, let's make plans together. I feel as though your person just loves you. The King of Cups is someone who knows how to keep their emotions under control. This is a person who's been through it. They've been through some real challenges in their life and they've mastered them. They've mastered their emotions. This is Scorpio energy, Pisces energy. So you may be dealing with one of those signs. They absolutely uh, intend to level up. They feel as though you're ahead of them in your career. They feel very much twin flame, twin flame. There we go. But they feel, and they their intention is that they feel as though they're the nine of pentacles. And both of you kind of swap these energies. Both of you have mastery over certain things in your career. This is very money, success-oriented, being very strategic. So their intentions right now are to build this beautiful foundation with you in which to support a beautiful twin flame relationship in which both of you will have a high level of success and happiness because, you know, stability brings success. Um, we see their actions. Magician card, that's Virgo and Gemini energy. So this is a person who's absolutely has every power to manifest. Intentionally, they're there. Six of Wands says that they will manifest you. They will have a success with you. They feel as though they've known you in many lifetimes. We get the infinity symbol, fire in their belly, Leo energy. They can't wait for a reunion. And that's why I think the two of you are physically in different places, but spiritually very much in love, planning for the future, you know, making sacrifices now with a higher view to what is ahead. Time Machine says that, you know, one of you is in one space and time element, the other of you is in the future, but the divine matrix is something that you both accept and you both willingly embrace. This reunion energy, they want to grow old with you, that Scorpio energy, they want to reuni reunite with you. We get the Heart of Wands, they see you as the uh, fiery queen of wands. You are a rock star in their mind, in their heart, and they are absolutely bent on manifesting, and they will. Their actions are fire in their belly to manifest a victory in reunion with their beautiful Aquarius, and this is Aquarius, here you are, right here in your reading, um, with their Aquarius uh, fiery, uh, love of love, beloved person. So Aquarius, this energy is off the charts. I really would love for you to leave a comment below because you are in a time and space continuum with this divine matrix in which one of you may have said, you may have jointly, and I suspect this is a case, you may have jointly, you know, you may have lived with each other for a long time or been together for a substantial period of time. You're looking into the future. You're looking into developing your future as a team. But I feel like right now, somebody may have gone ahead to find housing or somebody may have, you know, maybe is at home, back on the home front, sort of maintaining the, the stability. And before you make a big move into the future, hopes and dreams, boy, that's the action card. The sharp end of the spear is you are catapulting forward very quickly here with a masterful plan. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. It's so exciting. I've seen this reading building for an entire year to year and a half now, and it is in action. How exciting is that? Cindy, you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Thanks so much, Aquarius. Hope to see you soon in another reading. Bye-bye.